In this video we're going to look at the various ways of adding your documents into Verify. Now you're probably already familiar with our mobile apps. They're available on the iPhone and Android. Basically the mobile app allows you to take a photo of your receipt or your invoice or bill and just hit submit and your document comes straight into Verify. As far as the online hub though, the first and probably the most likely method you'll be using is this upload link. Now this, this button is essentially the same one as this one and this collect button will appear no matter where you are in the hub. So you don't need to be in the, in the inbox section to access this button. So let's hit that now. And so to bring in a document all we need to do is drag one in and you can also drag in multiple documents at the same time. And it could be JPEGs, it could be PNGs, they could also be Airbnb ledgers um, in CSV format, as well as your banking transactions in CSV or Excel format. Now we can see that the document that I just dragged in has appeared already. Let me just close this drop zone so it's out of our way. Uh, and so you can see that this one's already here and we can click on the preview of the image that was uploaded and we can also see the document details that were pulled. Now another way of bringing a document in is the manual or typed version. So let's assume that we don't actually have a supporting uh, image for an expense. Uh, we can just enter this manually. So let's say it was from uh, Florent Decor. Um, the expense was on Andy's Amex. The subtotal was $100. Perhaps there was tax of $9. And so the total was $109. Um, and we just run through the rest of this form. Um, and once we're, we're happy with, uh, with what, all the details on this document, we just hit Add Document. And now what you'll notice on this document is that an image has been created for you. This is a placeholder image since none was uploaded. Now another way of importing documents is through the email. Now when you sign up for Verify, you'll be given a personal email address to send your documents to. Now this isn't a standard inbox. Uh, it is only an address that you would send your documents, so your in invoices, receipts, or your bills, uh, to this address and Verify will pick up any of those documents from this address and put it straight into your account. Now you'll notice this extra option called File Storage here. This uh, particular option is for uploading documents that are supplemental documents for running your business. These documents are only stored in the system. No data is actually pulled from them. Now, one other way that we can import documents into Verify that we haven't covered and that doesn't exist in this menu is through connected apps. Now, you may notice that I've got this Dropbox icon here. We, Verify actually supports several cloud storage uh, systems that we pull your documents from. So one of those is Dropbox, but then there's also Google Drive, and there's uh, Box, OneDrive, and so forth. Um, I've got an example here where I've already connected Dropbox in this tab here. So once you connect Dropbox, what happens is in the root folder, you will have an apps folder, and then a verified documents folder will be created inside of that. And then within that, there is this upload folder. Now this upload folder is where you want to drag your documents into and you can put as many as you want and the Verify system will basically import all of the documents that you drop into here. Now one thing to note here is that this process uh, runs every hour or so on your account so it, it does take a little bit longer for you to see your documents come through but the upside is that you can put in as many as you want and it makes bulk uploading that much easier. So if you've got something that you want to upload in real time, then the best options are uh, this collect button or through emailing and the mobile app.